What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at two new homebrew apps. One that just released at the time of recording here, another one released a few days ago. And this is the FTP client and SMB client homebrew apps. So these apps are utilities that allow you to, you know, upload and download files between other devices and your PS4. So obviously FTP isn't really the one I'm going to focus too much on here in this video because we've had an FTP server built into the PS4 for a while from Gold Hen as well as the FTP payloads that have been in, you know, you've had access to that on PS4 jailbreaks going way back to the beginning. But uh, this is an FTP client application, not an FTP server. So it is a little bit different. So if you do have an FTP server somewhere set up on your local network on a NAS or something, or you have an FTP server set up out on the internet on a server, then you could access it on your PS4 with this application and pull files off it and upload files to it. So it is a bit different to having an FTP server uh, that we have on the PS4, as well as SMB. SMB is quite interesting, obviously Samba. Uh, so that you can basically host a file server on your computer and then access it on the PS4, pull files off it. You could put package files on there and pull them off it on the PS4 and install them. So that's one thing that you can do. Obviously, if you have like a NAS as well, then you probably have an SMB share set up on that that you could access on the PS4. So it just offers some new ways of accessing files that are stored on other devices. And you can also kind of use these as a local file manager too. So I'll show you guys that here in this video. So let's get set up here to installing everything. So first of all, obviously you want to make sure you're running the Gold Hen payload and you've got your PS4 jailbroken. Then we're just going to switch on over to the computer to get the application. So we've got the FTP package and the SMB package. So to get these, we're going to head over to packagezone.com. You can download them using the homebrew store on the PS4 itself. Otherwise, just go to packagezone.com on your computer and just search for FTP and you'll find the FTP client application by uh, CY33HC and also the SMB application, which is by the same developers. So you can just go ahead and download them right here. So once you've got them downloaded to the computer, we can copy them over to a USB drive. So I've got a USB drive here. We'll copy them over to the root of a USB, making sure the USB drive is formatted in XFAT format or FAT32 format and then we can eject the drive and plug it into our PS4. Okay, so we'll switch back over here to the console. We'll go to Gold Hen, Debug Settings, Package Installer, and we're gonna go ahead and install all to install the FTP client app and the SMB client. We'll take a look at the FTP one first. So if we head over here, you can see we've got both of them installed. So we're gonna run the PS4 FTP client. Now, both of these applications use the same front end, so it looks exactly the same here. Okay, so this is what the software looks like. You can see we've got site one, we've got multiple sites so that you can have multiple FTP servers to connect to and you can have all the data saved. So we're gonna go ahead and try and connect to my PS5 because I set up an FTP server on my PS5, uh, you know, my jailbreakable PS5 that is on 4.03 and it's running the FTP server uh, elf file. So it should be running. So we're gonna go ahead and try and connect to it here. So. Uh, the IP address we're going to enter into site one. There is no username or password required and port number is 1337. So we'll see if that connects us up. So we head to connect and okay, so it did not work. So for whatever reason, the PS5 FTP server cannot be accessed from here. That's a bit disappointing because I kind of wanted to show you the difference between, you know, show you how similar the PS4's file system is to the PS5 side by side in these two windows would have been interesting but unfortunately there seems to be something wrong there and it's not able to access the ps5 ftp server the problem does not appear to be on the ps5's end because i can connect to the ps5's ftp server just fine with filezilla on my computer just not from here for some reason but another thing that you can do with this like i said is use it as a local file manager just to copy files between different places on the hard drive or from the usb to the hard drive on the ps4 instead of reaching out to a server on another device. So the way you do that, of course, is you just run the FTP server in Gold Hen. In the server settings, you run the FTP server, and then you can use the FTP client app to connect to it. And you can connect to it on the loopback address, which is just 127.0.0.1. So we can enter that right there. Uh, no username or password required. Of course, the port number is 2121 for Gold Hen's FTP. 
and then we can connect and that's not going to want to okay apparently i messed up the ip address uh, 0.0.1 .0 .0 there we go connect and now we have access so we can press r1 to switch between the two windows so for example if i wanted to copy a file from the usb to the hard drive to the data folder on the hard drive i can just go into the data folder on the left window and then press r1 to switch to the right window and then here I can go to the mount directory, the USB directory, take one of the files by pressing square to select. And then once it's highlighted, we can press triangle and we can hit download. And we will uh, always use this action and we will continue. And then that will just copy it from the USB drive to this location on the hard drive. So if we take a look here, we scroll down, you can see it has copied that file right there. I'll just uh, delete it for now. So you can totally just use this as a regular file manager. Plus it also has the ability to connect to other FTP servers. So anyway, that's the basics of the FTP client application. Now we want to take a look at the SMB application, which is very similar. And I think this is more useful because we haven't really seen any kind of SMB clients for the PS4 or an SMB server, at least not to my knowledge, not any that worked properly. So uh, this does have a few bugs. There's a few things that need to be fixed. And obviously this is early stages for this app, but um, I'm sure, you know, the kinks will be worked out eventually. But it's going to be pretty useful because with SMB, you can just share a folder on your computer, put a bunch of files in it and, you know, any files that you want on the PS4, like package files or anything else, config files, uh, you know, images you want to replace or anything like that. You can just drag and drop them into a folder on your computer and then access that folder remotely over the network with this application. Then you can just, you know, install those files or copy them somewhere on the PS4's hard drive. Uh, so yeah, pretty useful. So to set this up, if we switch over to our computer, obviously, if you already have something like a NAS setup, then, you know, you can just connect it to, the, to your existing SMB share on your NAS and access all the files there. But obviously, if you just have your computer like I do, then what you can do is just set up a folder. So we create a new folder here. Now, one issue that the system currently has, it doesn't seem to be able to handle shares where the folder that you're sharing is in multiple directories because for some reason, the actual share length that it gives you to enter in the application is only so long. So if you have a really long file path to your share, it's not gonna work right now. That's one of the issues. So in order to alleviate that problem, I'm just going to put the share on the root of the drive. So I'm just going to go into the, the C drive in my computer and just create a new folder in here called share. And we're going to go ahead and make this folder shareable on the network, which we can do by holding down the shift key, right clicking on the file and going to give access to and then specific people. If we select this option, we can then type in everyone as the people we want to share the connection with the folder with. So we click add and then we'll set the permission level to read and write so I can, you know, remotely delete files and copy them and write files to that directory. So we're going to go ahead and click share and then that will share it on the network. So you can see the path here to the share is the desktop backslash share. So we'll click done and it is all good to go. So obviously I can create a shortcut of this share on the desktop now. So we'll go ahead and send to desktop shortcut. And there we go. We have share right here. And I can call this like PS4 share. So I do have two package files here. This is the open Orbis FTP or Orbis FTP. And of course, there is the homebrew store. So if I want to install these, I'll just copy these package files onto the PS4 share folder or any other files that have some significance that you want your PS4 to have access to. You can just copy them into this folder. So one other thing we need to do is set up our network settings to allow a connection because by default, the Windows firewall is going to try and block access to the share um, and it's going to have password protected sharing enabled and stuff like that. So what you want to do is head on to the control panel on Windows if you are doing this on a Windows system. And then obviously we're going to head in to our network and internet settings, network and sharing center. And then we're going to go to change advanced sharing settings. Okay, so by default, you'll have a uh, file and printer sharing disabled. I think that needs to be enabled. So I'm going to turn that on, turn on file and printer sharing. And then we're going to go to all networks and turn off password protected sharing. 
So you want to do that and click Save Changes. I don't have the Save Changes option because I already have those settings applied. But once you apply those settings, you hit Save Changes and you're good to go. As for, you know, security, obviously you're disabling password protected sharing. So anybody on your home network who has access to that share link can access it. But we're only sharing one folder on our computer. So, you know, it's not like we're sharing access to the entire hard drive or anything, just one folder. So obviously just don't put anything that you don't want anybody to have access to in that folder and you'll be fine. So yeah, we should be good. So we got those files there in that folder. So if we switch back over to our console, to our SMB app on the PS4, we can just enter the IP address of our computer, uh, 192.168.1.39, I think my computer's IP address is. Uh, obviously, you can verify your computer's IP address. If we switch back over, you can just open up a command prompt window by typing in command prompt or CMD in the search bar and then typing in IP config, and then you'll get your IP address right there. Or you can go to your Wi-Fi network, right click and go to properties, and then you'll find it right here, IPv4 address 192.168.1.39. So you can access it there too. So you enter the IP address in there, and then the share, of course, is just called share, because that's the folder we called it. We just called it share, and because it's on the root of a hard drive, I don't have to specify a larger path because it's just on the C drive and then the share folder. And then no username or password required because we disabled password protected sharing. And then we can hit connect. And there we go. We have connected. As you can see, those are the two package files right there. So let's go ahead and copy those over to the data folder on the PS4's hard drive. If I go into data, we'll just select these with square and then we can press triangle and download. And again, we will continue. And there we go. That's now downloaded them over here onto our PS4's hard drive. So there we go, FTP install package. And the other package is in there too, store R2, the homebrew store, and Orbis FTP. And now I can just install those using the internal package installer right here. Run the internal package installer, which installs package files that are on the data folder. And there you go. You can see it's found Orbis FTP added to downloads and the homebrew store and there we go ready to use orbis ftp homebrew store have been installed and obviously you can upload files to the ps4 in the same way we just go to the left panel here and we select something like payloads this contains a bunch of payloads for the, uh, the payload guest application so if i go ahead and select these payloads i want to upload them to my computer i can just press triangle and then select upload and again always use this action and continue and there we go it uploads it so if we just switch over to our computer and open up the ps4 share folder look payloads folder is here with all of the files so i don't know i do find this to be a pretty convenient way of transferring files just have a folder a shortcut like this on your desktop copy files in there then open up the smb client application on the ps4 access the share copy the files out do whatever you want to do upload files back to the computer this way and you just easily have access to it through one folder, uh, which is pretty handy. So, so yeah, pretty awesome stuff right there with the SMB uh, server. And I, as you can see, the settings have saved, so I can just hit connect again. I don't have to retype it in every time. Now, a few issues that I do have with the current implementation of this SMB client. There are a few problems with this Homebrew app right now. Uh, one of them is that you can't rename files that are on a Windows SMB uh, server basically so if you're using like a Windows machine uh, as your SMB server and you're connecting to it then you can't rename files for whatever reason but you can if it's a Linux SMB share I believe so if it's a Samba share on a Linux machine it should work you should be able to rename files on the app uh, so that's one issue another issue is that the host has to be an IP address which I take a bit of an issue with because of course, if you have a dynamic IP, like, you know, your IP address on your computer set up using DHCP, which will automatically change the IP address every now and then, then it does mean you'll have to come in here and change the IP address every time it changes on your computer. If your computer is hosting the share, that's kind of annoying because usually the share is set up with a DNS address as well so that you can just enter like your desktop name, your host name of your computer and it will resolve to the IP address of the computer. But it will not allow you to type in a host name in here. It only allows you to type in an IP address. 
So that's a bit of a downside. And then the other issue is the share option here. Because, for example, if we go back to the computer, if you want to, you know, say I want to make a folder on my desktop that is a share folder. So I'll create a test folder on my desktop and then I want to share this. Then if I go to give access to specific people, uh, everyone, add, and again, we'll do read and write, share. You can see how long this link is. You've got users, Lee, desktop, test. So I click done, should be fine. Uh, if I switch back over again to the console and I try and connect to that share, as you can see, I've got test entered right here. If I hit connect, failed, timed out. It cannot find the test folder. So it's like, okay, do I have to enter the whole, the whole thing? So theoretically, this would be the link because we already have the IP address entered. So, and that is case sensitive, all set correctly. Users Lee desktop test. So we try that. And then if we try and connect, you can see it's still timing out. It's not recognizing it. And when I go back to the share, it's cut off. So it's like it's not entering that full path into the share path for some reason. So that's one issue that it currently has. So if you are going to do a share, I would recommend just creating a new folder on the root of your hard drive on your computer uh, so that you don't have a long file path to enter for the share. And then theoretically, it should work uh, as it did with mine when I did that. And then you can just create a shortcut to that folder somewhere more convenient on your computer that you can access. So that's what we've got there, SMB and FTP client applications. Obviously, there are still some issues, but still pretty handy that we now have this as an option for the PS4. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. This might be my last video before Christmas. So if it is, then I hope you guys have a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.